Hello everyone! I'm sorry for making everybody wait, but here I am. I said we would get the happy ending, and I think the serenade is the happy ending that we're all looking for. If it isn't, then, uh, well, I'm, I'm apologizing in an, uh, ahead of advance. Right after this, I'm gonna get back to Raymond's story. Edgar holds me gently. I feel all warm inside, even when we're just looking at each other. I'll never love anyone but I'll never love anyone but you. Stay by my side forever. The red roses sway with the wind as if to celebrate with us. Hello, Spade. Hey, Edgar. I did. Yes, I did choose this. I did. Put it, I picked a cake and. Through the forest, I see my village. When we get through the forest, I see my village. It's quiet, but nothing seems out of the ordinary. It looks like we made it. I'm so glad. No, wait, look over there. I follow the direction Edgar points to with my eyes. I see many red lights glowing in the dark in the distance. Eyes of demons, they're already close by. Edgar, who can see in the dark, checks what is going on. A few demons are leading a herd of enchanted demons, enhanced demons. They're probably going to attack the village at once when the villagers go to sleep at midnight. I have to go warn everyone! We go to the village chief's house, and I bang on the door while yelling loudly. Village chief! It's Rosalie! I need to talk to you! Rosalie? I hear the village chief's voice from, out from inside, and soon after he opens the door. It really is you! You're alive! He opens his eyes wide in surprise. Neighboring villagers also come out of their houses hearing the commotion. What? What is it? Oh, Rosalie's back! I thought she died! I tell everyone who gathers around us. We're in trouble! A herd of demons are headed this way! They're planning to attack our village! What? A woman screams. Several men run to the lookout platform. They're almost here! We need to do something right away! The village chieftain interrupts me. Wait, more importantly, where were you until now? The villagers who came back said that you stayed to fight off the demons. I defeated them with him. But that's not important. The demons, who is he? Or should I say what he is? He's on our side, chief, if we don't hurry. But that man is also a demon, isn't he? That's what they said. The village chief eyes Edgar and me suspiciously. Are you on the demon side now? Maybe you're planning to sell this village to the demons. The villagers start to murmur. I would never trust us, please! <sighs> I don't understand why they're suspicious about something like that. But at a time like this, the only way you could really convince the villagers that you're on their side is to fight the enemies. <sighs> well, when you have the chance, of course, if they don't tie us up and throw us in the... Throw us in the jailhouse. If we were planning to sell the village, why would we risk our lives and come warn you? Edgar says without disgust. The men who had come to check... The men who had gone to go check... Ra ran back. There really are demons! They're surrounding the village! Screams erupt around me. Help! I don't want to die! Calm down! We came here to help! What are you saying you can do? Do you have a plan? Well, I don't know what to say since I hadn't thought of an actual plan. 
Edgar opens his mouth. Who can use the bow? All hunters can. Put all the people who can use a bow in three rows. When the demons come, shoot your arrows as fast as you can. It doesn't have to hit them. Just keep shooting. Rosalie will command that troop. You can do it, right? Of course. Leave it to me. The remaining villagers, find ropes and stones, as many as you can. The elderly, women, and children, stay quiet inside your homes. We don't have time to dwaddle. Get ready before they start attacking. The villagers come to their senses with Edgar's brisk directions. G got it! The villagers move at once. When the demons come attacking, we're ready and waiting with bows and arrows. Shoot! Ten people are in each line, and the front line start shooting arrows in unison. After the front row finish shooting, the second row comes up to the front to the front next. We continue to shoot arrows without stopping. Catapult unit, attack! With Edgar's command, the village men start waving around waving around ropes with stones tied to the end, and start throw and throws to and throws them towards the enemy. Like um The arrows and stones are enough to spoil the enemy's start. What is this? I thought we were ambushing them! They attack at once, but quickly fall back. But once the lot that attacked the hotel catches up, we can handle them. But bad news! They fail to take it over the hotel. What?! If we get reinforcements, the hotel vampires are gonna come attacking! Gives the next command. Shoot the fire arrows. Roger. We dip the uh, we dip the arrows we wrapped up with cloth and oil, and light a fire on them. We shoot the fire arrows at the swarm of demons. Darn it! Retreat! Retreat! The demons are utterly routed, and they run back into the Adora forest. Yes, we did it! The vision that had worried me for so long starts to disappear. For so long starts to disappear. I jump into Edgar's arms. It's all thanks to you! I'm glad we were able to change your future. Someone moves through the crowd of rejoicing people and comes towards us. Rosalie! Mother! You don't have to worry about... Alyssa... Alyssa's in danger! My mother's words hit me like a bucket of cold water. Alyssa is laying on the bed in the back of the room, nearly lifeless. Alyssa! I dash to the bed and hold her hand. Alyssa opens her eyes slightly. Rosalie? Yes, it's me! I came back! I make the best smile I can manage and stroke Alyssa's cheek. Her pale cheeks are strangely cold, or surprisingly cold. Everything went well. We'll be able to pay for more medicine now, and maybe find a cure. No, it's enough. Rosalie, take care of mother. Okay. Alyssa! My mother covers her mouth with her hand, but a sob escapes her lips. I'm glad I was able to see you before I died. Rosalie. Don't say that. You have to keep living with us, Alyssa. If you die here, there would have been no point for me to have gone to the hotel. Even if I have to save the village, it's pointless if I can't save Alyssa. Bear howls sadly next to me. Edgar comes to my side and gently places his hand on my shoulder. Rosalie. Edgar, my sister. I turn back to look at Edgar, but my eyes blur my vision. <sighs> I guess saying our prayers is all that we can do. But how other story they would know? 
gonna be alright. I can save her. I suspected that. Edgar bites the tip of his finger and presses it into a, and presses it against Alyssa's mouth. Edgar! The blood from his fingertip flows down to Alyssa, painting her lips red as it goes into her mouth. <coughs> Alyssa, hang in there. Swallow it. After some coughing, her thin neck moves just a bit, and I can tell that she swallowed the blood. After a while, the color returns to Alyssa's face. She opens her eyes. There's a definite glow in them. I'm feeling a lot better somehow. She says with a clear smile, with a clear voice and smiles, Alyssa! I hug Alyssa. Her cold body is now warm and her heart is pounding strongly. I'm so glad! You're okay now! I know firsthand how well Edgar's blood works. Anything bad in Alyssa's system should have been driven away. Alyssa soon falls into a peaceful sleep. I can't believe it. It's a miracle. My mother kneels down by the bed and strokes Alyssa's hair. Edgar, thanks to you. I turn around, but Edgar is nowhere to be seen in the room. Edgar, where did you go? I jump out of the room. Bear follows and starts running in a straight line. He's dashing towards Edgar's back. Oh, Edgar's not happy. Bear catches up to Edgar and bites on the hem of his clothes to stop him. You're not you're not leaving without a proper thank you. <laughs> hey Bernard, what are you doing? Edgar, where are you going? I catch up to Edgar too. Were you planning to go away without letting me thank you? If I don't return before dawn, I'll turn into dust. Edgar smiles humorously. Humorlessly. I live in a different world from you. Then, I I'll go to your world. What? Thanks to you, both the village and Alyssa were saved. There's nothing else I have to do here. So I'll follow you. I cling to Edgar. Rosalie. Edgar wraps his arms around my waist and pulls me up. Pulls me into him and then... Pulls me into him and then breathes. You won't regret what you just said. Never. Good answer. That's why I love you. Edgar smiles and kisses me. I receive the kiss with a deep joy. I take Bear and return to the hotel with Edgar. Once things at the hotel return to normal, I go visit the Rose Garden. Thanks for everything, Rose of Past. You really are the guardian of the hotel. That's not true. We can't move. It was all thanks to you. When the hotel was under attack, Rose of Past evacuated the guest to a safe place. Thanks to that, not even a single guest was injured. You fixed the tear and the you fixed the tear in the barrier and a door of force too, right? So that the world of demons can't interact with the world of humans? The demons won't be able to attack the villages now. But the power of dark magic still remains somewhere in the hotel. Someone could abuse it again. We didn't figure out the mastermind behind this plot yet, either. That's why I came. I'll protect the hotel and village no matter what. When I said that I would go back to the hotel, my mother nodded, looking a bit sad. She gave me a smile as she told me that as long as the village was in peace, she'd know that I was doing fine. Please keep watching over us, Rosa Past. I will. Rosa Past chuckles happily. 
<laughs> but I know that he didn't decide to stay at the hotel just for oh darn it. Seriously? But I know you didn't decide to stay at the hotel just for that reason. As if I'm clear, the door to the last door will open and Edgar walks in. Rosalie, I thought you'd be here. Edgar smiles and comes to my side. if I want to continue to the next chapter. I can't really have that. <laughs> Bernard was sitting silently like a guard dog in front of the door. Alfred hasn't given Bear entry permission yet. Rosa passes by as gently as she watches Edgar and me. Then she talks to Edgar and then Kitty, teasing sort of voice. Edgar, you're going to stay at the hotel forever too, aren't you? I am. The enemy hasn't given up yet. I can't go home until everything is resolved. I'd be too worried if I did. Alfred, Raymond, apparently also, Hal, Gabriel, Davis, and Preston. Rosalie and I can stay for free as long as we help out with the work. We're very grateful. Although solving the mystery here is only a part of the reason. The truth is that we just wanted to be together. Edgar? I look a bit Edgar shyly. His gentle, his gentle eyes return my gaze. I thought so. There's a past chuckles in the ringing voice. <laughs> You truly are like Harold and Titania. Rosa Pass sounds deeply moved. And so this is how our feelings are passed down. Edgar hugs me gently. Titania wrote that she lived a happy life, but I'll make you even happier than Titania, mostly. Edgar, I'm already happy enough, you know. I feel a warm inside, even when we're just not looking at each other. I'll never love anyone but you. Stay by my side forever. Edgar's sincere and sweet words make me smile and nod. I love you forever too. Until my life, Edgar's lips cover my own and interrupt what I was going to say. Will you stay as long as, will you live as long as I live? An eternal life with me. The depths of Edgar's eyes glow up. I'll wait until you truly desire to do so. So when you make up your mind. Sure. The red roses sway with the wind as if to celebrate with us. So, is she going to be a vampire? Last I checked, she... No, she didn't. Not in the, uh, not in the little spinoff story that we did. Yeah. I don't think it would have been bad if she had. No one would blame her. I feel like I didn't get the proper ending. I'm sorry, everybody. My life is forever yours. My life is forever with yours. Bye.